Take it off, Martin, yeah. Philippe, how proud are you of the performance the players put in and the result you got here? Um, I'm really proud about the performance. The result, yeah, that stays a difficult one. I think we were really close by making this miracle, by winning here as the first team ever in the Europa League against them. So, yeah, it's, it's a pity to get a penalty like that against. It's really an unlucky situation. This ball drops. John don't see where the ball drops and it drops on his arm. So that's very unlucky. And then the own goal also. So we were really close. We had also an opportunity, I think, or two with Fabio and then Cyril to make the one three would have changed also a lot in this game. Um, but I'm really, really proud about my team. They showed uh, character, they showed solidarity, they showed personality. Also with the ball, we scored two really good goals with, uh, with good football. So I'm really somebody who's demanding towards them, but I cannot ask more than what they gave today. They gave their, their mall, uh, everything. Also the guys who came in. Uh, we miss a lot of players in the offensive uh, positions, so other players had to do the job. I'm very happy also with Fabio and Dujon doing that role really good in this game. So we need to continue like this. And uh, if they keep this mentality, what they've been showing the last couple of months, then, uh, then it can be an amazing season. The mentality they showed to respond to the penalty that you described there and the way they did as quickly as they did must give you a lot of heart and confidence going forward. Yeah, we talked about that a lot uh, in October, November, uh, about those situations and, uh, and how to come through it in a good way and, and to do it much better than they did before. And, and they're totally in the story now. They, they understand that you cannot give away this one, two minutes of, uh, of regret. It's about the next action and to be ready and, and to believe in ourselves, uh, in yourself and in your teammates. And that's what they've been doing now the last couple of months. That's why also when we, when we go behind or when we get goals against, that we, we continue playing and uh, that we took also a lot of points in, in other competitions. So, yeah. Uh, I see the mentality that I want to see. I see also good quality on the ball to score two goals like that against a good team like Benfica and, and having a few other good opportunities. So I'm very happy what my, my team have showed um, with and without the ball today. Do you feel you now have the advantage in the tie going back to Ibrox? Do you know what that stadium can do for your team? It's, it's not an advantage, then, I think. Um, it's an advantage that it's at Ibrox because our fans, if they're on top of it from the first second until the last second, they can give a lot of energy to the team. But we stay realistic about the qualities of Benfica. And you guys wrote it uh, this week about <laughs> the difference in transfer budget. That's the reality. So if we can eliminate this team, I think it would be a, a huge, huge thing. I can only ask for my players to, to give their best and to show what they've shown today and again on Thursday. Philip, did you have any issues with the penalty, the decision for that? It seemed very harsh. Yeah, it's very harsh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I said it already a few times, I don't agree with where the game has gone, gone to with, uh, with the handball situation, but those are the rules. I had more problems with the last couple of weeks, some situations, this one, with the rules how they are now, you can give. Uh, but as a, somebody who loves football, I have difficulty with, with those rules. Like all the managers, I think, and all the players. That it's too harsh now that a ball that's clearly not intended to go against your arm, the moment it touches you, it's penalty. And too many games are all over, all over the world eh, are decided in that way also. Uh, with these handballs and this penalty situation. But those are the rules we need to accept. I'm not from uh, UEFA or FIFA, so that's not my job. Maybe after the job as manager, I can do something like that to make the, the game a little bit more simple again uh, for, for referees also, because for them it's also a, a difficult job now. Any more? All good? One more? Yeah. 
Yeah. Boa noite, Mr. Diogo Reis, bola na rede. Fábio Silva esteve ligado aos dois gols do Rangers. Como é que o português entrou no plano tático do Rangers para esta partida? E pedi-lhe também um comentário mais aprofundado à sua exibição. Obrigado. Uh, how much time do you have for detailed? <laughs> Because then it can take a little bit time. No, uh, Fabio is growing. He's still a young player, 21. We had a lot of talks before he came to Rangers about his role or the roles he could play. So we talked about striker, on the playing on the left side or, or even around the striker, so he can do all these roles, and that he showed today. And you see that he's integrated really fast into the squad. He feels really good in the club. He plays with a smile. He gives a lot of energy to the team. He has his qualities. He's taking more and more control of his emotions. We talked a lot about that. Um, that it's the next step to take, and I'm really happy about that today uh, because it was a hostile situation, a lot of attention towards him. But he played for the team, not to show everybody that he's a good player. He, he played to be a good player for Rangers, and that's important for me. Questions for the Hibernian game, Andrew? <coughs> Just one behind you. Philippe, are Hibs a different side that you're coming up against? They've made a few January signings, they've changed their shape as well. How different are you expecting them to be from the last time you faced them? Uh, yeah, they can be different. Uh, we are also different. So um, we're going to take a good look into that. We're going to see how, uh, how people recover for the, the next two days. And we're going to go hard to get into the semi-final because it's, uh, it's an important thing. And uh, I've read that they, they were really unlucky in the last two games against us, I read. So they have a lot of belief, clearly. So it's about us uh, um, getting the good result there and, uh, and qualifying. Are you confident, Philip, that the players will be able to focus firmly on the Hibs game? Yeah, 200%. Yeah. No, no doubt about that. My team have been working hard all season in that way, and they never stopped. Good proof was also after the Betis game. A few days later, we had uh, the League Cup final, and they were there. So, no. My team is hungry to, to win more trophies. And, uh, yeah, we, we know we need to play against Ips uh, a really good game, because they're really hungry to beat us, apparently. Any more? All good? Happy guys? Yeah, okay, thank you. Thanks.